Hello, my name is Don Forrest from New Aiming Law Group. A commonly asked question and concern from clients is, how long will it take for me to receive my green card? For this presentation, I will be explaining the visa bulletin, the priority date, and cutoff date. The visa bulletin, priority date, and cutoff date are terms related to the United States immigration process, specifically concerning the issuance of immigration visas in green cards. Understanding these terms is critical for those navigating the U.S. immigration system. Here's an explanation and description of each. The Visa Bulletin, the definition. The Visa Bulletin is a monthly publication by the U.S. Department of State. It is also used by the United States Citizenship and Immigration Service. It shows which green card applications can move forward based on when the original petition that starts the green card process was initially filed. Let's consider the purpose of the Visa Bulletin. The Visa Bulletin is used to determine when a visa number becomes available for an individual who is seeking to become a lawful permanent resident, in other words, a green card holder in the United States. Let's consider the categories as well. It includes different categories like family-sponsored and employment-based immigration visas and shows the progress of visa avail availability in each category. It also includes so-called filing dates and final action dates. Let's consider these further. The priority date. The priority date is the date when the United States Citizenship and Immigration Service receives the immigrant petition filed on your behalf, such as Form I-130 or I-140. Essentially, it's your place in line for the green card. This date determines when an applicant can receive an immigration visa or file I-485 adjustment of status for U.S. permanent residency based on visa availability. Let's look at staying informed. Applicants need to compare their own priority date to the dates listed in the visa bulletin to know when they can move forward in the process. Let's also consider the cutoff date, another critical element. It is a a date that appears in the visa bulletin. It indicates who can already file I-485 or obtain immigrant visa, an immigrant visa, and who cannot based on their priority dates. The cutoff date is used to manage the demand for visas and ensure that the number of visas issued aligns with the annual limits set by U.S. immigration law. If your priority date is earlier than the cutoff date listed in the visa bulletin for your visa category and country, you could apply for a visa or adjust your status. How do they work together and what is the process flow? When the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service receives your visa petition, such as I-140, I-130, or PERM application, you get a priority date. You then use the visa bulletin to track when a visa in your category might become available. Your priority date must be earlier than the cutoff date listed in the visa bulletin for your visa category and country of chargeability. Let's consider waiting time. Depending on the visa category and country of origin, applicants might wait months or even years for their priority date to become current. In other words, earlier than the cutoff date. Understanding these terms is crucial and is essential for navigating the timing and stages of the U.S. immigration process, particularly for those seeking permanent residency through family or employment-based visa categories. Let's take an example. As of now, December 2023, for applicants born outside of India and China, according to the Visa Bulletin, the cutoff date for EB2 categories, including national interest waiver, is January 1st, 2023. And the date for EB1 categories is current. This means if you start your NIW application now, you may file your I-485 in one year and receive your green card several months later. If you start your EB1 application now, you can file your I-485 together concurrently with I-140 and can expect to receive your green card within a year. Please let us know at New Wing Law Group if you have any questions regarding this presentation.